Today's video is going to be something a little bit different than what I normally have been doing on my channel recently. I still love baseball, but I haven't been posting as many baseball-related things here as, as much as I used to. And uh, my favorite team is the Texas Rangers. For the first time ever, they won the World Series in 2023. And... In response to that, a lot of they've had, of course, they're spending the entire season talking about or, or enjoying the fact that they won this championship. A lot of the stadium giveaways and promotional items that they've had this season are, of course, things uh, celebrating their World Series wins, and they've had a series of world champion bobbleheads, and I've had a chance to get one. Now, I don't live in Texas. I live in the Nashville, Tennessee area. And uh, I decided I had to make a trip to Texas this year to see a game. And I quickly circled on the calendar the, uh, the day after Memorial Day for several reasons. First of all, they were playing a rematch game against the Diamondbacks that day. Uh, my son was out of school, so there was no problems going there. But they also were giving away this Adolis Garcia bobblehead. And the first, uh, if you looked at on eBay for some of the other items which have been given away this season, they are going for some pretty good money. Uh, there was an Evan Carter bobblehead. There was a Corey Seager bobblehead. Uh, a world champion replica trophy has done really well. There were some replica World Series rings that they've been given away. And some of these things have been selling, at least to start, for over $100 for bobbleheads that they give away for being a uh, one of the first few thousand people through the gate. And uh, so I figured not only did I need to go to the game, uh, I had to get there early. And as you can tell here, uh, I did get there early. And I saw reports of, of how people were lined out the entrance before they even opened the gates. And so, with my wife's permission, when the two of us went to this game, we decided to get there early enough to make sure, make certain that we got there. We ended up going to the south gate, and we were probably the the hundredth person in line. They had about four or five uh, gates open that day on the south entrance. Not as many people go to the south entrance. And uh, by the time the gates opened two hours before first pitch, uh, there were probably a thousand people in line behind us. And so that was more than well enough to, to get these. But when you see that they were selling on eBay for about $100, lots of people were showing up. There were stories of people getting their first in line, buying 10 tickets, walking in. Uh, one person who had scanned 10 tickets, they take their 10 bobbleheads and leave. They're allowed to do that because they bought 10 tickets. I think they bought tickets to the cheapest seats. So here we go. We've got the Adolis Garcia bobblehead. And so just MVP, and by that he was the MVP of the ALCS against Houston. Uh, the legend grows, MVP, uh, Went and took it was kind of a team motto that year. We made history. Uh, the ALCS MVP, his uh, uh, jersey number uh, 53. Uh, he's a bad man, isn't he? I think that was a quote. Uh, someone, I think that was a quote from Seeger after a post game um, conference during the uh, playoff run. We've got El Bombi as his nickname. Adolis Garcia owning October, very good at baseball. And he was the 2023 uh, regular season Gold Glove Award winner. And so this specific bobblehead celebrates his ALCM, uh, ALCS MVP trophy, which he's uh, shown holding right here. And then on this side, it shows him winning the Gold Glove Award. And so the uh, let's go ahead and look at the back here. So to highlight his defense, 11 outfield assists was third in the AL. Three straight seasons with 10 of those. And in fact, in the game we went to, he had an outfield assist. So that was good. Then for those of you who like the advanced uh, metrics, defensive run saves, he was third in MLB on that. And then during the ALCS, four straight games of the home run, the fourth longest streak in postseason history, and then 15 RBIs, which was a, a single season postseason record. I think he ended up 
breaking the all-time uh, all one postseason RBI record, mostly on the strength of what he did in this one series against Houston. So let's go ahead and open this up. I've, I've already opened it, so I took the little plastic uh, cover off, but it's covered here in styrofoam. So we have our reveal here, and I love this. Lots of design elements. I've gotten some bobbleheads in the past, but this one has to be one of my favorites that I've ever seen. Because uh, now since it's hand-painted, uh, it's the quality of, of the painting here isn't that great. I mean, it's it's they're not adding a lot of detail to actually say the MVP trophy on here. But uh, you've got the gold glove on here. Uh, we've got a Globe Life logo there. The uh, they they sponsored this bobblehead, but they're also the the they bought the naming rights to the stadium. Uh, got a gold base here with his name uh, painted on it. Go ahead and pull this off. And as we look at the base, got the Rangers logo for the base here. He's standing on a base path. And I think it's neat that he is standing on one foot here. But then as we get to the next element here, he's actually tugging on his jersey right here. He's holding it forward. And one thing that he did a lot was when, when something great would happen, he would... Uh, rub his hand across the team name saying, you know, we are the Rangers. And so kind of highlighting the, the pride that he took in being as part of the Rangers. But that's kind of harder to show on a bobblehead. So it was another moment where he's holding his jersey forward. It's kind of a gap in there. Holding the jersey forward, showing off this is the team that we're on. And of course, we've got uh, the, uh, the happy expression that he's got here uh, right there. So I love this. I uh, even see his little earring right there. Uh, some other jewelry there on the neck. So this is all around a fantastic uh, bobblehead. We've got the Texas State flag that appears on the jersey. He's uh, number 53. On here, even got his uh, leg guard right there. I just, I love this bobblehead. And so very happy that I was able to wait in line and pick that up but on the way out now I ended up getting two of these and I was thinking yeah I like them but I don't need two of them how would I go ahead and and pick up another one I really wanted the Corey Seager but I also really wanted the Evan Carter and I thought probably what I was going to end up doing was uh, taking one of these uh, selling it on eBay taking the money that I made and going back to buy another one Turns out I didn't have to do that. There was a lady outside the stadium when the game was over asking if people wanted to make a trade. I guess the thinking here was that the Garcia one was going to be one of the most valuable ones. So they, uh, this lady uh, had an offer of three different ones that you could trade with her. One of them was a Corey Seager minor league bobblehead when he was a Dodger. I've seen that one. I actually saw that one on eBay a week before I left on my trip uh, for you know under twenty dollars. And so, if I wanted that one, I could go ahead and buy it for a cheaper price. There was a Marcus Simeon bobblehead from last year. Now he's getting one this year also, but they had a bobblehead from last year which isn't going for as much. But they had the Evan Carter, the catch bobblehead, and it was hard choice for me. Would I rather have the Evan Carter or the Corey Seager bobblehead? Well, she didn't have the Corey Seager bobblehead because that one probably has some pretty good value. But I love this one, too. And I remember seeing this one sell for about $80 at one time. So the thinking here is the Garcia is going to be worth more. But truth be told, when you look on eBay right now, the Garcia and the Carter both sell for about the same price. Maybe the Carter is a little bit better. So he... Uh, was called up to the Rangers very late in the season where he didn't even uh, extinguish his uh, rookie eligibility. So he's actually a rookie in uh, 24. You, it, when you find his rookie card, it's going to be a 2024 rookie card. But this refers to a specific catch also against the Houston Astros in the ALCS. So this is called the Evan Carter, the catch bobblehead um, produced by Coke. On this side, we've got seams. Uh, still images. He's getting ready. He's running up against the, uh, the fence there. 
And I thought it was an iconic photo, uh, probably the second most iconic photo uh, of the entire postseason run. Number one would certainly be, I think, the Corey Seager just hit the game-tying home run in Game 1 of the World Series, and he's yelling, and he's not someone that shows a lot of emotion. And, and that was what was captured on the other bobblehead. But here we've got Evan Carter making the catch. Uh, I also like Evan Carter. He's uh, from a small town in Tennessee. Uh, so he's a Tennessean just like I am. He's only 22 this year. So he was born this side of 2000, if that one makes you feel a little bit older. But it's also got the styrofoam in it. And certainly uh, lots of design elements of this one that I like also. So we take the styrofoam off of this one and kind of see what it looks like in the styrofoam. This one's sponsored by Coke. And I like how it's from a, a specific moment, a specific game. And it was, this wasn't just any catch. This was a difficult to make catch. Most people thought he, he was running in kind of the, the hidden corner they're in uh, left field where most people don't get to the ball, but he was able to. And you've got the, kind of the green padding in the background. But one of the things I like about it is he's airborne on this one. So he's actually glued up against the wall here. So that might make it a little bit harder for him to uh, uh, to to stay in one piece. Uh, well, maybe just having the legs break would, would be kind of harder on that. But this one was uh, made by a different company. Still made in China. Probably hand-painted. We've got uh, Texas on the logo there. This guy, I think, was 21 when he made it. He's got his wristband right there. He's got his name painted at the back of the bobblehead. And I think I even can barely see his number on there, even though you'll never see it unless it breaks. And then it even has the mesh screen. So I think the bullpens were behind this wall. The Rangers bullpen was back there. And so, again, another, I mean, a little bit of silver on the belt buckle right here. So just fantastic moment. Probably my second favorite player since he's a Tennessean, the new Jung. So love these bobbleheads for sure. But that's not all. While I was uh, waiting for the gates to open, I was talking to a, a local who, of course, was excited to get this bobblehead also, uh, the, the Garcia one. And I asked him, is there anywhere in town where you think I could buy some of uh, previous year bobbleheads? And uh, he said, maybe eBay your best option or you can check some antique malls. And, and I did check some antique malls because I know what they go for on, on Amazon. I mean, on eBay, you have to pay for shipping probably just better to if if there was an antique mall that had them uh you could at least save the shipping price and and uh and and so i decided to check one out the next day we, uh, my wife and i were meeting with some family and i uh, had a couple hours so we visited one i think it was in the north richmond hills area they told me that antique mall used to be a i think a plywood uh distributor if that helps you figure out where it is in case you're looking for these but I got some previous year bobbleheads that I'd spotted in the past that I thought were special. This first one, a little bit cheaper because it had a broken bat on it, but this is the Joey Gallo tape measure home run. So if you're not familiar with uh, baseball that much, uh, when you hit a really far one, they say it's a tape measure, like you need to go out and measure how far it is. And of course, they have uh, analytics these days that can measure that, but this one actually has a built-in tape measure in it. Now, if he could actually hit one that was 900 feet, that would be something. But uh, usually the, the furthest ones only end up going about 500 feet. That's, of course, a really cool idea to, to uh, get on this one. So uh, built with chocolate milk. So that's kind of a, a neat way of, uh, you know, a home builder uh, might be using a tape measure. But I, I just like that one. Uh, I can pro I'm probably going to have to glue that, that bat back on, but... Uh, there we go with the, uh, the Joey Gallo uh, bobblehead. So uh, he seems like his best years of his career were with uh, Texas. And when they traded him to the Yankees, they got some pretty good pieces from him uh, from that trade. And so um, really, when he was on the team, he was my favorite player. 
and uh, so I thought that was neat. Then when we uh, think back to the uh, the first uh, World Series years, the in 2010, 2011, when they went and lost, this one's a little bit damaged, so I got it at a, a good price. But this isn't a bobblehead. It's just, I guess you call it a statue or figurine. But we've got the Derek Holland bobblehead. And there was, I guess, an iconic photo from one of those years where uh, he uh, arrived at a game wearing an orange suit like this. And I think that it's from the movie Dumb and Dumber. I might be wrong about that, but he's uh, got a baseball. There's the ad for Reliant Energy. And um, so just, it, he was known for having the goofy personality. Someone who addressed like that. It, it fits in character. Iconic moment. People wanted that on a, uh, a statue figurine. So, I like that one, and it didn't cost me much since the uh, the rim of the hat was uh, broken. Another pitcher from those uh, early 2010s uh, World Series run was uh, C.J. Wilson. He was known at the time. Uh, his hobby was uh, being a guitar in a rock band in the off season. So here we have guitarist C.J. Wilson. So he's got a, a Texas Rangers guitar right there. I think that's the name of the band that he was in. And then at the bottom here, we've got uh, C.J. Wilson. Got some angles on the side. I guess those are... Let's put pedals or, or lights shining up on him. I don't know. He's still wearing his uh, Nike cleats on there, which I think is funny. So uh, the uh, the C.J. Wilson uh, guitar bobblehead. We're going to move away from bobbleheads for a couple of these and switch to garden gnomes. I, I guess they're probably a little bit cheaper to make, but uh, here we've got one of you, Darvish. And so right after the Rangers lost the uh, 2011 World Series in a horrible fashion, then they immediately had something to look forward to in the next season as they quickly got who uh, you Darvish, who at the time was considered one of the best Japanese pitchers there ever was. Now, of course, we've had a couple people since then uh, who might appear to be better, but we've got you Darvish as a garden gnome, uh, sponsored by Nitto Tire. I'd say a pretty good likeness of him, since it's a gnome. He's got the pointed ears, and instead of a baseball hat, he's got the gnome hat right here. Yeah, this one's uh, scuffed, paint chipped a little bit, but. Uh, these don't sell for as uh, much as the bobbleheads do. So this, this one was pretty cheap. And then someone else from uh, those earlier World Series years, we've got uh, another gnome, this time of Elvis Andrews. So another uh, one thing I'll say about these is they can give a lot more detail to the facial features on these gnomes since it's a bigger head on here. You still got the, the uh, garden gnome hat. This one uh, celebrates the fact that he was the base dealer. Another one uh, sponsored by Coca-Cola. Uniform uh, worn number one. Another one, uh, pretty good condition on that one. Pretty cheap. This next one's a little bit funny uh, because I'm from Nashville. This is a bobblehead of, some, of a Nashville Sounds baseball player, and I bought it in Texas. But this one's going to be R.A. Dicking, and so if you don't remember him, he was from Tennessee. He was actually from the Nashville area. Uh, I was told that he pitched against my high school uh, in around uh, 1992 or so, and, and he was untouchable as a high school. Then he went to UT. He was the Rangers' number one draft pick around, let's say, 1996 or so, 98, somewhere in that range. And uh, they found he was missing the uh, ligament in his pitching arm which is replaced when you have Tommy John surgery because of that that they were wondering how he was able to pitch at all but since he was born without it he just grew the muscles that he needed and uh, so he had an okay uh, career with the Rangers but uh, when things kind of fell apart for him he uh, uh, was eventually released, He, uh, at least according to his autobiography. And, and my wife met him once, since he's from the national area, when he uh, spoke at Lipscomb. My, my wife uh, worked at Lipscomb University. 
but he went through a dark place in his life, uh, and then when he put things back together, he decided to give baseball another chance. He signed with the local minor league team, the National Sounds. Uh, he did so well that he made it back to the majors and became a Cy Young Award winner after uh, he'd given up at one point. So kind of an inspirational story. Uh, whoever sponsored this one, uh, the name uh, tag broke off there. I kind of think it was funny that uh, someone had handwritten on this one. It's from a national mission trip <laughs> in 2000 and something. Well, the last year, or 2013 uh, maybe? On that. So yeah, it's funny. I'm from Nashville. This was made in Nashville. I bought it in Dallas, Fort Worth area. National Sound. So if you've been a longtime Ranger fan, the uh, the catch now is Evan Carter's catch. But before that, the catch was from uh, Gary Matthews. And so it was one of the best uh, all-time highlight reel catches of a home run where he ran up against the outfield wall, positioned, kind of stepped on the wall to give him an extra leap. And then he lunged over the wall, stretched out his arm, and made the catch. So uh, here we have uh, cat, the catch. Coca-Cola and Kroger sponsored this, and Gary Matthews. Another one where he's not touching the ground. So the wall is uh, holding him up on this one. Number 14. So we've got the state flag on it, but you've got the ball here. So I don't know how many bobbleheads are out there that are facing away from you, but you can easily turn this one around and, and uh, see his face. So, iconic moment. That season was probably Matthew's best season of his career. He was able to turn that into a big contract with the Angels following uh, that play. But, uh, I mean, he had that much of his body over at the wall when he made that catch. So, just to, to kind of show how difficult it was. So, another one that's great. And you, you even have the warning track and, and the uh, outfield grass represented on that one. So, I love that one. So the last one that I'm, I'm going to show in a lot of detail right here comes from uh, the year that it was trendy for people started making uh, baseball slash Game of Thrones bobbleheads or Harry Potter or Star Wars, things along that one, those lines. So this one is a Ranger slash Star Wars uh, mashup. So you were, uh, they mixed together Elvis Andrews with um, Lando Calrissian from Star Wars to get the Landrus bobblehead. So we've got Elvis dressed up as Lando. So you get, there you have the Elvis Landrus Calrissian uh, sponsored by Takis. We've got a Cloud City look on the base of this one. And we've got uh, Elvis wearing the uh, Lando uh, coat, I guess, uh, dressed up as Lando on here. Yeah, that's pretty neat, I think. The uh, uh, I, I do have boxes for most of the, the things that we've seen uh, in this video, and, but I've uh, kind of already put them up in storage. But this one had a picture of the ballpark on top of Cloud City as as part of the uh, <laughs> the design of that one. So yeah, I think that's uh, <laughs> that's a kind of a fun one to end on. I think. I might as well show a couple more here. I'm going to give you just a, a tiny little tour of my man cave where I've got the rest of my bobblehead. Now, half, uh, most of the ones on the top shelf we, we just looked at. But when uh, back in 2020, uh, when it was work from home day, I'd have Zoom, and this was my backdrop of uh, my bobblehead collections. Of course, they've rearranged them since I've added a few. And we've got some local Nashvillians, uh, National Predator, Mike Dunham, Titans, McNair, Curse, more uh, more people here. We've got some of these little tiny, uh, I think that the Sosa and A-Rod one, or the Sosa one and it came out of a cereal box. I think a couple of A-Rods, cheap plastic ones. Uh, come down here. See, we've got my Nolan Ryan autograph. I didn't actually buy that one. A friend of my grandmother gave me that one. A uh, bobble dobble of A Rod. We've got a Coca Cola of, I think that was Chan Ho Park. I got that one really cheap. The background here we have uh, Sin Chu Chu. That was actually when he was a Cleveland Indian 
but he was put on a Simon Says board back there. We've got a Juan Gonzalez uh, Stadium giveaway, uh, MBNA Bank back there. We've got an A Rod as a minor leaguer before he was a Mariner. He was a uh, a Fox, whatever team that was from. Then we've got another uh, A Rod. We've got an bobble dobble of Ivan Pudge Rodriguez right here. Then we've got a 70s generic bobblehead back there. Turn the corner here. We've got old Nolan Ryan doll that I tried to starting lineup when they were more doll like there for a while. Got an old 70s uh, RC Cola can of Mike Hargrove, the human rain delay. Uh, got a World Series trophy. Here's another starting lineup where they actually put him on old Arlington Stadium right there. I picked that one up just um, earlier this year. Uh, move to another shelf here. We've got some other uh, starting lineups. There's the uh, the bloody Nolan Ryan, another iconic uh, pose right there. Michael Young statue. You used to be able to get these stadium giveaway bobbleheads pretty cheap on uh, on eBay, but not anymore. We've got another 70s. That one might be an 80s, just generic, generic bobblehead. We've got some Cooperstown classic. Uh, Three uh, set of Nolans up here. More starting lineups. The uh, Baseball Hall of Fame Nolan. Another giveaway statue of the two Ranger AL batting champions. We've got a Michael Young and a uh, Julio Franco back there. Then I think another Michael Young. And then another 70s generic bobblehead back there. This corner, you can ignore the uh, the Route 66 uh, muffler man right there. But a uh, couple of stadium giveaways that I got from when I'd go to the game 20 years ago. Nesting dolls. We've got a Hank Blaylock nesting doll in the front and then an A-Rod in the back. So there's two other nesting dolls inside the Hank Blaylock and I think the, uh, the A-Rod had four. Then we've got a stadium giveaway of the old uh, ballpark in Arlington. Love that stadium. Got too hot, though. All right. Uh, that's my tour of Ranger Bobbleheads. Here's a sound stadium while we're at it. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.